there is a big event down in New York City in October. It is the Avon Walk, and it is to raise money for breast cancer research. And we have a local team heading down. We have Kathy and Jessica. Your team is Kick It to Cancer. That's a great name. And I know that you're having a fundraiser this Sunday, which you're going to tell us about. But first, I want to start with you, Kathy, because I have met you yes. before, because you right now, you're surviving cancer, and you have been diagnosed more than one time. Yeah, this is my third diagnosis I'm going through now. Well, I'm cancer-free at the moment. Well, I go through treatments actually this afternoon. So um, Jessica and I had talked about doing a walk, you know, for Kick It to Cancer, which my friend Paul Schenick, that's his um, company's name was Kick It, is Kicks. So he came up with a Kick It to Cancer logo for us, which was great. And um, so we decided to do a walk in October to raise money for breast cancer. And um, yeah, this is my third fight with it. And actually my ex-husband was just diagnosed last week with cancer. Mm. So this is our fourth time um, telling our children that their oh. parents have cancer. So now actually the walk has a whole new meaning to it. Like kick it to cancer is every cancer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have been just so incredibly brave and you have mm -hmm. been out there. Like I said, I've, I've spoken with you yeah. in the past, but now you're going through this new phase of it for your children and I'm sure it gives yes. this walk now. I mean, you're approaching it with just a new attitude. And completely different attitude. It's one thing to have the, per to be the one diagnosed. It's another to look at, you know, your father's children and look mm -hmm. at someone who's been in your life for so long and have him have to tell you that he had cancer. So it was oh. a totally different a, a totally different way to look at it. So now Jessica and I are obviously doing it for our, what we've been through. Jessica's mom's a survivor, my mm -hmm. mom's a survivor. So that is still very important, but now we're walking for all our kids also so that they don't ever have to go through it. Oh, and Jessica, you are having a fundraiser this Sunday at Sharky's to raise mm -hmm. money. So can you tell us about that? Sure, it's at noon, noon to four at Sharky's. It's going to be 50-50 raffle, uh, food, friends, good times and uh, hopefully we'll raise much more than our goal of $3,600 which we already have a good start on but hopefully we'll be able to raise a lot more for the research in avonwalk.org. Finally, Kick can you cancer. talk about, Kathy, why is this research so important? Well this research is so important. Ten years ago when I first started I was pregnant with my daughter. I had mm. her three weeks early or five weeks early, started chemo three weeks later, so seven weeks of radiation, had several surgeries. Um, I was re-diagnosed two years ago, actually right after we had spoken, I did the Boston Walk. Uh, I was diagnosed and it had metastasized and spread to my lung. Oh. So, uh, but the treatment they gave me even then, instead of seven weeks radiation, it was three days of a treatment called the Cyber Knife. So I went in and did uh, you know, seven weeks of radiation in three days. So the research has changed so much, even from mm -hmm. when I was first diagnosed. So that in 10 years, so if we keep walking and fighting and trying to, you know, beat this, we can, but you have to raise the money to do it, so. Well, and thank you so much it. for continuing to be out there, and I, and I have to say, you just, you're amazing. Thank so, you. you know, thanks so much. I can't thank imagine you. how difficult it is to talk about that, but really you have been out there and it's, it's very impressive. Thank so, you so much. if people want to come out and support them, they can come to Sharky's in Liverpool this Sunday, noon to four. Stay with us. We'll be right back.